Hi, this is Robin Bremer. .net is my website, and hello to all my friends and uh, listeners. Um, I'm going to share on a subject today that's been on my heart, and I've been sharing off and on for for a couple of weeks. But I've been going back and forth with a lot of people, and I think I need to explain it better. And I'll have a lot more videos on this subject, uh, but this is just a short one for today. And forgive my dog if he's barking, because he's barking at neighborhood kid, and I don't want to wait for him to stop to start recording. Um, today I'm going to share on speaking in tongues that it's for everybody and it's for today because it, it is so 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 important that you know that tongues is for you every person that's saved and that speaking in tongues or speaking in the spirit as it's sometimes called is for every person and it's for today it's not for a select few people and today I'm just going to bring out one of the facts of how it's for today just so you have um, just a couple scriptures uh, today to show you that and I'm, today I'm going to be using the New Living Translation uh, because it's so easy to understand and it's so true to the word that I so far I found um, and I'm going to start with Acts 15 8 and 9 which the Lord pointed out to me about yesterday or the day before, two days ago and I had it written down to study it and I, it just gets me excited when God does that and I study something so here goes get your Bibles out and your notes um, take notes Acts 15 verse um, 8 through 9 okay God knows people's hearts and he confirmed that he accepts the Gentiles by giving them the Holy Spirit just as he did us he made no distinction between us and them for he cleansed their hearts through faith okay so right here what I want to point out to you is that Paul is saying um, that he knows it says uh, he God knows people's hearts and he confirmed that he has accepted them as Christians by giving them the Holy Spirit so when God confirms that you are a Christian you get the Holy Spirit now so that's for everybody if you're a Christian you need to have the, it says right here that he confirms that he that that you're a Christian that he accepts you by giving you the Holy Spirit now how the question then is how did they know he got the Holy Spirit okay so you have to go up here further and I had to keep reading backwards I had to read verse I had to read all of chapter 15 then I had to read all of chapter 14 and I had to go all the way back to figure out how Paul knew that the Christians the new Gentiles who became Christians uh, were accepted by God because he gave them the Holy Spirit how he knew they had the Holy Spirit so I kept going backwards and going backwards until um, let's see it was all the way back to chapter 10 I just read all the way back until chapter 10 um, chapter 10 and that's where it says um, that's where Peter was going upstairs and fell asleep upstairs um, on the balcony uh, because he was hungry he was waiting for food and God uh, gave him a vision of lowering down the sheet and saying eat and he said no I have not eat anything that was by law unclean and then God said don't say what I said is clean is unclean uh, so then Paul knew that that was a representative of the Gentiles that the Gentiles were now to receive the gospel and you can read that um, in chapter 10 but in chapter 10 44 well let's go I'm sorry let's go chapter 10 verse um, 34 through 38 he's giving the gospel message he's saying that you know Jesus he, uh, he came um, that uh, every nation who fears him and does what is right the message of good news okay uh, Pete he preached peace through Jesus Christ the Lord of all um, that John preached the message of baptism and God anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and power and he went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil and were witnesses of this that he was put on the cross three days later you know that he rose from the dead and all that and that we ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead so we know he's alive and then he says as as he was giving the gospel message even as Peter was saying these things the Holy Spirit fell upon all those that were listening to the message and the Jewish believers who came with Peter were amazed now why were they amazed 
that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles. How in the world did they know <laughs> that the Holy Spirit was poured out on the Gentiles? Okay, let's read on. For they heard them speaking in other tongues and praising God. Okay, then he says, then Peter says, how can anyone object to us, to them being baptized because they received the Holy Spirit just as we have, and just as we have, speaking in other tongues, the day of Pentecost, Acts 2, further back. How did they, it said that they spilled out into the street, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke in other tongues. And in that particular other tongues, people understood them. Not all other tongues are understood. But all tongues uh, um, tongues, are for today and for you. Okay? And then let's go to Acts um, 10, 44 and 46. Okay, I already read that. And Acts 11. And now Peter's in trouble because... Um, he has to explain to the fellow Jews why he's preaching to Gentiles. And so he says, um, in 11.15, he says, As I began to speak, Peter continued, and he's saying what happened now. As I began to speak, Peter continued, the Holy Spirit fell on them just like it did at us on the beginning. Okay? Then I thought of the words, the Lord's words when he says, John baptizes with water. But you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And then he goes on. And since God gave these Gentiles the same gift he gave us. When we believed in Jesus, Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. Who was I to stand in the way? Now you preachers that are standing in the way that are preaching that. Tongues is not for today. And tongues is not for everyone. You're standing in the way. Because right here it clearly says that to the Gentiles or the Jews. Not only certain people. But to everybody who received Jesus as their Lord, the Holy Spirit fell on them, and they spoke in other tongues. Okay? When others heard this, they stopped objecting and began praising God. So, right there you have it. That's all I want to share with you today. I will try to put an outline under this blog so that you can go home and study it for yourself. That's just one piece of the puzzle that shows that tongues is for today and it's for everyone and this I feel so so strongly about this is so important I get so it's about a revelation with Jesus Christ and and it's been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom you're to know God's will but you don't know how to pray we can only pray so far in English language then our prayer language tongues has to take over because when we pray in tongues we're praying God's perfect will and it's so important to pray God's perfect will Okay, instead of what we see is obvious on the outside. So tongues is for you. It's for everyone. And I'll go over some other scriptures in the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to do it every day. It depends on how the Holy Spirit leads me. He said do this today. That was important for you to know. So my name is Robin Bremer. Please share this with uh, people that don't speak in tongues that want to. people Because not with religious people who don't want to speak in tongues. Who want to just prove that I'm wrong and you're wrong. And are hateful and angry. But people who are hungry for the things of God. Who want to walk in God's presence and power. Share this with your friends. Like it. Subscribe to it. Um, share the link. Go to my blog. Um, uh, get the outline and uh, get people speaking in tongues because that is the most powerful tool that we have in this end times uh, it didn't stop with apostles as you can see it just keeps on going and it goes to us and I'll show you more later so my name is robinbremer.net is my website go to it and check it out and I'll talk to you tomorrow